guys, Fresh Fam, how are you doing today? Today I'm bringing you all a brand new video on some Modern Warfare Remastered. But the main subject of the video today is my thoughts and opinions on Call of Duty World War II, which was announced yesterday, uh, the day you're watching this yesterday. And the trailer will be linked below. It was an amazing trailer. Thumbs up for that one. Much, much better than I uh, dubs. But uh, yeah, it was a great trailer, guys. And you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. But I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, opinions, and what I would like to see in the game. So uh, let's get into a game. Catch you guys have been living under a rock for the past few days you would know all the world war ii info going around and it's actually incredible i'm super psyched don't know why i threw a grenade but i'm super psyched for it so basically today april 26 2017 baby the world war ii trailer got announced and it was actually awesome once again link below and i'm just gonna be talking to you guys about it Another thing that I'm very happy to actually say that is coming back, baby. Boots on ground system. I know you're like, oh, well, you're a jetpacker, bruh. And, okay, I play Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is not a jetpack god. I know. Oh, my God. You haven't played the originals. You're such a jetpacker still. Guys, I played Modern Warfare 3, and I played uh, Black Ops 1, so relax. But I'm excited for boots on ground because I kind of am tired of the whole jetpack thing it does get annoying i do use it a lot i'm not gonna say like yeah i don't jump like ever i do jump of course i use the jetpack system but it, it's not gonna be here anymore so f regular boots on ground returning that's awesome one thing i would like to say though i really would like to see if they add slides still because the slides definitely did help the game a lot and it would make it more fast paced but it wouldn't make it so overpowered like a uh, wall run and you know boost jumps and whatnot but for a little overview the campaign looked incredible the story looks like it's going to be a really good story and i'm just excited they even got zombies in there nazi zombies and it just looks incredible guys like the cover for the nazi zombies that i saw looks insane and most of the info I actually got as well was from Charlie Intel. I'll make sure to link them below as well. Uh, they do a great job covering all the Call of Duty news. So if you guys are new, check them out. And the reason why I'm uploading this on Thursday, one, it's on my schedule. And two, because your sub boxes were still full yesterday. And they're probably full today, but still World War II news. Props to all the news YouTubers that really grind out the videos like that. Like, seriously, it's hard to make that many videos. But I'm babbling on. I'm going to give you guys what I want to see in the next Call of Duty, now knowing a little bit of what to expect. Now, let me drop some info for you guys. There is going to be a beta. If you pre-order the game, I think any edition, it might not be the pro edition, I, I don't know, but you get a snapback, which is a World War II snapback, and you also get a beta code. Yeah, there's a beta. It's dope. Yeah. So you get all that good stuff, you get the code, you get the snapback. I mean, I really wish there was a poster just so I can take off the Infinite Warfare one and put a, you know, World War II one. But it's okay. It's okay. We can always do something about that poster. But I think it's really cool they are giving us a hat. I'm not sure if it's only for the Pro Edition and Standard. I don't know, guys. But I know you do get a snapback. Picked up the AK for a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, now to go into what I want to see. First... As I said, sliding. It would add something to the game, and I think it'll just make the game faster paced, not slow. So, I mean, everyone's used to this jetpack cod if you play them, right? Um, and you're used to the fast pace. And instead of adding boost jumps, just add like a little slide. It doesn't even have to be like, yo, let me slide across the map, you know? Just a little tiny slide, give it an extra boost to the game, and I think that would be incredible, you know? Let me know down in the comments also what you guys think. I know that I didn't give you guys like so, so much info on the actual trailer and some like things that are going to be on it and stuff, but that's why I'm linking Charlie Intel. Just want to let you guys know in on that. But for my next thing I want to see, I want to see some good score streaks, okay? I really did like the score streaks in MW3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Those score streaks were really good. But if they can add some good score streaks in the game, I didn't say a word. Score streaks in this game, I think that would be a really good addition. Because Call of Duty Ghost didn't really have that many good score streaks at all. And you know, I was disappointed. Advanced Warfare was pretty crap as well. So if they add some good score streaks... That'd make me happy, even though I can't even get any, because I suck at COD to everybody, so yeah, whatever. Even making a video about my thoughts, I still find a way to just, like, demolish myself and my, you know, skills. What skills? Ah, I did it again. 
I also know that in the trailer they did show a couple of guns like the MX Grand. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of tweets about what are they doing? I saw a couple of tweets about that as well, which is really cool. Really cool. Gosh darn. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. I want to see them add a camo like Dark Matter where you have to just grind for the camo and everyone's working towards it. Where you just like have to unlock all weapons, uh, diamond and all that. I really liked that camo and if they can add that, you know, do that. It really got people like a reason to play the game. Not just they enjoyed it. They had something to go for. Uh, no matter what you do in the game, some people go for leaderboards, KDs, wins, and camos. That was cool. So it gives something um, for the people to just play for. For a long like time with a bunch of friends. And it does create a lot of new content. And I think this is my last thing. I really hope that competitive is really good for the game. I think it will be. I think competitive will be really intense for the game. And I'm really hoping that players that have actually stopped playing Call of Duty due to the futuristic stuff come back to Call of Duty and realize, hey, it's kind of fun and kind of cool. That's what I'm hoping happens. Because Call of Duty really died down ever since they implemented jetpacks and uh, boosts and stuff like that. So... That would be cool. That would definitely bring the COD community alive. Like, seeing the support on Twitter for this COD was insane. The video did insane, the trailer. And so, support was good. So, I'm hoping this will be a decent year for Call of Duty. I can't wait to make the contents for you guys. And I just hope that... What are you, what are you, what, what are you, what are you doing? What is this? I'm actually shocked. But yeah, I hope this year is a really, really good year for Call of Duty. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, don't forget to smack the thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. And subscribe below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on World War II. What you thought of the trailer. What you want to see. Just let me know your overall feelings for the next COD. And what you're going to be playing for. And all that good stuff. Just write me a paragraph below if you guys want. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay fresh as always. First game. I'll see you all next time. I'm out and out.